Hey everybody, CD59 here. I'm uh, going to do a product review, something I don't do a lot of, but I'm going to do one today. Uh, the latest thing I've been using, I shoot prairie dogs, that's mostly what I do in my channel. Uh, this is what I'm using, it's called the Bog Pog, the Death Grip. What makes it is this right here. You clamp your rifle in there. You can tighten it, loosen it, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of features on this thing that I really, really like. Go uh, right here if I can get in on these. These buttons right here. You can see that in there, it says 20 degree. 20, that means 20 degree. Let me undo the legs here. That the leg will go out 20 degree. If you push it to the next one, it says 45. That leg will go out to 45 degree. That's it. That's it. Push it all the way across. Goes to 85. That thing will go out. You put all three legs out like that. You shoot prone with it. It's pretty handy dandy. Uh, three section legs. I'm not exactly sure of the height by numbers, but you can use it standing up. Forty-five, forty-five, forty-five. That's forty-five all the way around. You'd probably use it on the twenty to make more sense in a standing position. Or you leave them on forty-five and you put them wherever the hell you want them. There is a pivot adjustment right here. Let me grab. I'll be right back. Don't run away. The way I set this up, I always shoot it on the ground. I'm not ever shooting from the uh, standing. Let me open that up. Wherever it balances that. That's where I tighten the clamp down at. That's where she sits at. I don't tighten it up so much that if you get you changing your positions and the leg is longer, you can always just roll the gun in there a little bit. Level it up, level it up. Alrighty. I got it upside down and showing you here. The legs, if you're on some kind of, I don't know, maybe you're using it for a camera and you're in a high school auditorium taking pictures of high schoolers at graduation. Out here where I'm at, screw that baby down. You got a steel point. Yeah. Somebody was thinking when they put this together. Okay, and I'm on the ground shooting. I put them in the 45 degree, that gets me down where I'm at setting on the ground. I'll also have a camera sitting right here on a tripod. Have all my other stuff here, pair of binoculars, ammo, range finder. Not a whole lot of moving around. Like I say, you got them steel studs in there. They will stay where you put them. If you're shooting, say, uphill on a dog town, uphill on whatever you're at, if you want to raise or get the shoulder, the butt of the gun into your shoulder, you can just by pulling your back front leg, you raise everything up. Or you can set it down. You can pivot. You want to keep it somewhat level if you're going to do a lot of pivoting. Otherwise your gun will obviously, we're way out of rack. See how crooked the gun is now? So it works really good. It's pretty steady. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid. I have had this out to beyond 500, 
uh, I don't call it a 500 yard rest. I'd say three, 350, I feel pretty good on it. When you have your days, you have your days. Uh, I was using it this morning on another town, uh, not doing really well. Come over here today, I was doing some 350 to 500. I was packing them right in there. Uh, anyway, that is the dead shot. Not the dead shot, dead shot is Caldwell. Uh, Caldwell, that thing works good too. That is good and stable out to probably 225, 250 yards. I'd say this one is stable for my kind of shooting, what I'm doing here. Uh, well beyond 300, I'd say close to 400. You get after that, you got to be rock solid. You better be laying down prone with a bipod sitting on a bench. You better be something. This thing here for walk-in towns uh, comes apart by itself. The unit is eight pounds. Eight and a half pounds, excuse me. When it comes all back together, there's nothing to fall apart. There's nothing to strap together except this guy right here, the rubber strap. Comes around, strap it together. You got one leg has a foam on it. That's where I carry it. Anyway, folks, thought I'd do you a little bit of product review. The Bog Pog Death Grip. Take care. Thanks for coming along.